all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Barton Coliseum in Little Rock, Arkansas, as Debella Entertainment presents FullTiltPoker.com Seasons Meetings, being sponsored by Cricket and Jim Beam. This bout scheduled for four rounds of action in the middleweight division. The judges scoring this bout are Bill Clancy, David Harris, and Robert Gonzalez. Our referee in charge is Gary Ritter. And fighting out of the blue corner, he sends it to the ring wearing black trunks, trimmed in white, and weighing in at an official 156 and one half pounds. His professional record, two victories, along with one defeat, both of his victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Forest, Mississippi, Michael Tiger Robinson. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. He steps in wearing white trunks trimmed in black and red and weighing in at an official 152 and one half pounds. He is a former 2004 Olympian. And this evening, he is making his professional debut. Fighting out of Winter Haven, Florida, Andre Berto. Fighters. OK, gentlemen, you received your instructions earlier. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands. If I tell you to stop punching, I want you to stop punching. Immediately take a step back. Protect yourself at all times. Trunks are good here. Trunks are good here. Touch your gloves. Let's have a good one. So Andre Berto will not be punching to try to please the computer anymore as you look at Michael Robinson, who has a tall task in front of him, going against the buildup and the reputation of Andre Berto. But he could make a name for himself and there is Andre Berto looking confident as he comes in here just 21 years old and a lot in front of this young man. And he's had international competition so you assume there may not be the butterflies. And here we go. Michael Robinson as we showed you has height and reach Andre Berto a wealth of amateur experience Olympic competition. He's used to the world stage. Uh, Michael Robinson jabbing, and here comes Berto coming with a left hook. Team to shake Robinson. And Berto will try to make a quick move inside with the head to open up some punching room. Nothing like going against a lefty in your first fight. And a taller guy. The question, though, will be the chin of Robinson and how it holds up. Dave Bontempo at ringside, and glad you're enjoying the pro debut of Andre Berto. Berto stalking, then fires a left hook. Good right hand by Berto, and Robinson is in deep water. Berto exploding. This will not go long. First knockdown of the career of Andre Berto, and Robinson had no answer for that speed. And he's reluctantly still ready to go as he indicated he wanted to go on to Gary Ritter, but here comes Berto. No, he's got to be a good finisher. Good left hook and a right hand in Robinson again. Trying to cover up Berto with the hook. Berto looking for the uppercut. Berto closing ground. A good left hook by Berto. And Robinson is back on his heels. Berto not even bobbing and weaving now. Just fires a big hook. And Robinson holding on with everything he's got just to try to get through, but he has a lot of time to kill in this round. Good left hooks by Berto. Gary Ritter will take a close look. Robinson is overmatched. So that's two knockdowns. Six, seven, eight. You want to go more? Leaves it up to Michael Nuts. Robinson, but you know Ritter will have a short leash here. Berto moving in. He said the chin of Robinson is going to decide how long this goes. And right now, 
Just getting through round one would be a big accomplishment for him. Berto is running him down. Right hand by Berto. Good right hand over the top by Berto. And Robinson is shaking again. And it's deja vu. A big shot's coming by Berto. The only question is, will Robinson get through the round? Well, the final seconds as Berto closing in on a KO. And Robinson gets the moral victory. It did not take Berto long to put Robinson on the floor. The good right hand started it. Robinson has wobbled now, and Berto has seen this many times. He just follows up, powers those hands through, and Robinson is already on his way down. He should have, to him sake, taken the knee first. The this thing comes about three. Just relax. 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 I want you to still work smart, okay? Don't get sloppy with your hands, all right? Think in there, okay? Anything can happen in and for Michael Robinson, just not much you can do. The speed and power of Berto. He'd like to get that jab out there working and try to take advantage of his height and reach and move more. But these guys operate at different speeds. As Michael Robinson in the black trucks. Already in a deep hole against Andre Berto. Berto, the 2004 Olympian with two knockdowns in the opening round. So that's basically like winning three rounds at one time. Robinson will be game, though. And he walks into a right hand for his trouble. Now, for Berto, the right hand lead is a good weapon against the southpaw. And he's had a big avenue to shoot that right hand in this fight. Left hook by Berto. Robinson backed up. Trying to find some operating room. He needs to pop the jab to hang in there, but Berto is timing that jab and coming in behind it with his right hand. What Berto's people certainly want to see is how does he follow up that first round? They know that as his career moves along, Stop, right. Step back. fighters will start to last longer. And will he be able to turn it up and get the points on the board when the urgency wears off? And he knows he's in no danger in the fight. So even though Berto has a big lead, the corner wants him to pour it on. There's a left hook by Berto. Stop, right. Step back. They don't want to see any relaxation whatsoever. Maybe the only thing holding Robinson up is that Berto hasn't really had the chance to work the body very much yet. As Robinson moves laterally, Berto trying to walk him down and then break him down. Good right hand by Berto as he was target shooting, and there's an uppercut in there. It's a big shot. Third knockdown of the fight. to take too much more of this way to go. Robinson very tough. Box. Gary Ritter with the warning. And an appropriate one as he sees the one-sided nature of the fight. And no need for Robinson to take an abundance of punishment. He'd like to continue his career on a different level as here's Berto firing away toward the end of the round. Robinson in trouble. Berto pouring it on. Will Ritter let the fighter come out for round three? So far, yes. I like relaxing and getting loose. But listen, I want to see that body. You give me that body. You're standing there looking for the head. Stop that, man. Listen to me. Stop that, man. Put him out with the body, it's just the same, baby. You understand me? Stop heading up, okay? Give me that grease, Berto. 
Berto has found a home for the right hand. You get that nice overhead look as he's been sharpshooting against the lefty. Good right hand there, which was sneaky fast. It had a different speed than the jab. Good right uppercut coming through. And this is an accumulation of shots, and then Robinson hits the floor. That guy is so open to the body. I'm screaming body. We're all screaming body. Give me some body. Give me some body. All right, let's go. Come on now. Let's go. Turn, turn it up. Turn it up. Got a whole lot more. They can tell Michael Robinson, other than you've got a lot of guts, because he does. Through two rounds, he's been down three times. He's been quite willing, but here we go into round three. Scheduled for four, the pro debut of Andre Berto in the white trucks, coming off the 2004 Olympic campaign. There's a good left hand by Michael Robinson. Berto now holding his left hand down low as he tries that up jab. Robinson working the body now. Trying to do everything he can. It's just trying to keep Berto off has been difficult. Good snapping jab by Berto, and then with increased speed, here comes the power. And Robinson in trouble again. This might be it. It is. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary Ritter calls a halt to this bout with an official time of two minutes, 15 seconds of round number three. Your winner, by way of technical knockout, Andre. <laughs>